What's up Medtronica? Welcome back. Today I want to dive into what electronic music does to our brain. Why does this music impact us so much? I want to know what happens when we put our headphones in or we turn on a set or we go see a show or we go to a club or we go to a festival and we're listening to our favorite artists or our favorite tracks. Okay, so this is how electronic music specifically impacts the brain. Let's check it out. The amygdala, remember, this is involved with processing emotions. It may become more active when listening to electronic music with intense rhythms or emotional melodies. Think about those like deep, dark sounds and those deep dark synths and those horns, super emotional. And with this increased activity in the amygdala, it can result in heightened emotional experiences and in some cases, a sense of connection or resonance with the music and the people around you. For example, if you've ever felt that there was a vibe or a certain energy from the crowd that you're experiencing at like a festival or a club or the people you're with from a song or a set, the amygdala is responsible for connecting these emotions to those songs and those people. So it's connected to that experience, which I think is pretty cool. So like when we talk about like, wow, the vibe of the crowd was so good or like the vibe of the set or like the, that show had, had a vibe, that's our amygdala forging and processing those emotional connections. Now let's look at the hippocampus. The hippocampus is involved with processing memories and memory retrieval and formation. So the hippocampus may be engaged when electronic music triggers certain memories or when a particular song becomes associated with a significant life event. So if a song reminds you of a person, an experience, time or place, the hippocampus is responsible for bringing up those memories and recalling them to the surface. So listening to electronic music can recreate and create strong associations with memories and experiences. So think about like if you've ever been transported back to a time and place when you're listening to a certain song, um, the hippocampus is responsible for that. And lastly, we've got the cerebellum. So remember the cerebellum influences motor coordination and movement. You know those times when you're at a show and you're like, all right, maybe it's 3 a.m., maybe it's 4 a.m., maybe it's 6 a.m. And if you're not at like a stereo where you have to stay all night long and you stay till the end, or one more song, all right, I'll leave one more song, and you can't leave because it's now it's peak time and the DJ is just letting it rip and the songs are too good and you can't leave. The cerebellum is influencing you and you're not able to leave because your cerebellum just is like, these tracks are fire. We, we're not ready to go yet. We can't leave. So I thought that was pretty cool and just to share a story there. So now that we have an understanding of how electronic music is affecting our brain, how our brain's processing electronic music, what the kind of the relationship is with that. Let's see how electronic music can impact the brain in other ways. If you've ever been doing work and you're like, man, I'm just gonna put on a set, I'm gonna have music in the background, those repetitive beats can really help you sync up and get into like a flow state. And I'm gonna do a whole separate episode and podcast on focus and electronic music because I was doing some research before and it's just, it's so deep, it's so cool. And I really wanna get into that. So energy levels are another way that electronic music can impact our brain. So think up-tempo electronic music can help keep our energy levels high. If you've ever been to a show and it's like peak time and it's just driving, like everyone's energy is just so high. And maybe there's times where you like leave the show and your body just like collapses and you're like, wow, the only thing keeping me alive was the music. This is one of the reasons. And we all know the types of music that brings our energy levels up. For some people it's techno, for some it's trance, for some it's drum and bass, for some it's like, like EDM. And we all know the, the other side of that coin, which is songs and tracks that could bring our energy levels. <sighs> down as I yawn. Perfect timing. 
think of like the lo-fis, the deep houses, the ambient, the deep or the minimal tech. And don't get me wrong, some of those genres have like some really hard hitters. There are some tracks, deep house, minimal, deep tech that are just like, wow, they really like hit hard and they bring my energy level up. But I'm speaking in general terms here. The other impact that electronic music has on our brain is this idea and the sense of anticipation. Electronic music traditionally has this format. It is created, it is produced in this format of intro, build, peak, outro. So that idea and those builds impact our brain and where it's constantly looking for what's coming next. It's constantly anticipating what's the next build going to be like. It's constantly seeking, oh, what's going to happen in the next four, the next eight bars, because something is added or taken away or something changes every four or eight beats, which I think is pretty cool. So there's always something changing in time. And that creates that anticipation for what our brain is looking for. It's that carrot uh, in front of the horse mentality where uh, what's going to change next? What's going to happen next? This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed learning about this stuff as much as I have. I love getting into the intricacies of things I'm really passionate about. So if you did enjoy it, I please ask that you subscribe, like, share, follow, set notifications, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. And I really don't like asking because I think this sounds so cheesy. But the truth is and the reality is we live in a world where that stuff really helps out because it allows the podcast to grow. It allows the channel to grow. Like we can throw events, we can throw parties. I can create more cool stuff for you all and for myself. And that's the reason I ask. So if you really enjoyed this, if you learned something, if you found it valuable, please subscribe, please like, please share it with a friend. Um, it does really help. So the other thing is we do have a newsletter, the links in the bio and it's in the description. Um, so if you haven't, make sure you sign up for that. And make sure you're following us on all platforms. I've got all the links to the socials in the bio. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you on the dance floor soon. Peace.